All right, guys. Having a decent focuser on your telescope can make a big difference when observing the night sky. A good focuser will not only let you secure the eyepiece in place using a clever tightening mechanism, but will also allow for smooth and fine movement to easily obtain that perfectly sharp image when observing. A really good focuser will also be able to save up some valuable millimeters of light path thanks to a clever construction, avoiding focusing problems when using accessories that extend the length of the light path by a considerable amount. This is especially important for Newtonian telescopes since they usually don't have enough back focus to accommodate some accessories without the use of a light path corrector lens. On my 12 inch Pro Dub, I'm currently using a 2 inch dual speed Crayford focuser from Omegon, and in today's video, we are going to take a deeper look at its strengths and weaknesses. So hit that like button and subscribe, and let's get this review on the road. Every telescope, no matter the type, is using some kind of focuser to help eyepieces and accessories reach the focal point of the incoming light from the telescope. A focuser does this by increasing and decreasing the length of the last bit of the optical system by a couple of centimeters. But why exactly is this necessary in the first place? Well, Every eyepiece or accessory used in combination with a telescope is going to modify the length of the light path of the whole optical system by a certain value. In case of eyepieces, it's usually only a few millimeters. However, there are accessories like bino viewers, for example, that extend the path length by as much as 140 millimeters. So in order to still be able to obtain a sharp image when using eyepieces or accessories, a device is needed that can compensate for this change in light path. It's called a telescope focuser and it works by sliding the eyepiece holder, including the draw tube, up and down the axis on which the light travels towards the eyepiece. This way, the eyepiece can reach the focal point and deliver sharp images. If, for example, you want to use a bino viewer that extends the path the light has to travel until it reaches the eyepiece by 120 millimeters, then the focuser would have to be able to retract by 120 millimeters in order to compensate for the added length by the bino. In reality, this is rarely possible with a Newtonian telescope. The use of a light path corrector lens is necessary here. There are three popular types of focusers that can be mounted on telescopes today. First, we have the helical focuser. This type of focuser focuses by rotating an outer ring similar to adjusting focus on a camera lens or the eye guard on some eyepieces. This allows for very smooth focusing and eliminates any creep problems when the draw tube can slowly slide in or out as a result of using very heavy eyepieces or accessories. Helical focusers are especially well suited for telescopes used for astrophotography where the equipment is very heavy and needs to stay perfectly still for hours. The second type of focusers is the rack and pinion focuser. This type used to be very common and can still be found on some entry-level Newtonian telescopes. There are two subtypes in this category. The first one being the linear rack and pinion focuser, which is a simple design and works well for visual applications but is too imprecise and rough in its movement for astrophotography applications. These focusers 
can suffer from stiffness, excessive play and backlash. There are, however, good linear rack and pinion focusers on the market with very fine tolerances for the mechanical system, but these can be very expensive. The second subtype is the helical track rack and pinion focuser. These work by having the teeth of the rack and pinion cut at an angle, allowing for several teeth to be in contact with the rack at the same time. This offers the possibility for very smooth and very precise focusing. The third focuser category is the Crayforth type. This is the most popular type of focuser fitted to telescopes today. Compared to a simple rack and pinion mechanism, a Crayforth focuser works by employing a round axle that is pressed against a flat surface on the side of the draw tube, relying solely on friction and compression force to move it as the axle is turned. Depending on the quality of the focuser, this mechanism can rival that of a helical focuser in terms of precision and smoothness. Today I have a 2-inch Crayford focuser with a 10 to 1 reducer from Omegon with me. I ordered it together with my 12-inch Dobsonian telescope, also from Omegon, a year ago and I've been using it ever since. As the name suggests, the focuser supports eyepieces and accessories with a 2-inch barrel size and has a maximum supported weight of 2 kilograms. It offers a 35 mm adjustment range that can be increased to 46 mm with the help of the supplied extension ring, allowing for more focus reserve compared to other focusers on the market. In reality, it's more like 33 and 44 mm, but it's good enough. On the product pictures you can find on the internet, the focuser is shown to be extending up to 42 mm without the extension ring, which definitely isn't the case. So keep this in mind when shopping for one. The focusing is done with the help of two wheels that are made out of solid metal, which feel very nice. The inner bigger wheel is for normal focusing with a 1 to 1 gear ratio. The smaller outer uh, wheel is for fine focusing and uses a 10 to 1 gear ratio. Meaning that for every 10 turns of the smaller wheel, the bigger one completes a full rotation. Focusing is very smooth and precise even with a heavy load. This focuser being of a Crayford design doesn't employ a rack and pinion for movement and only relies on the compression force to move the draw tube as the axle is turned. Here my main concern was that above a certain weight threshold for the load, the draw tube will simply creep back in as a result of the weight overcoming the compression force applied to the draw tube. But as it turned out, I didn't encounter any such problems with the focuser even when using heavy eyepieces and accessories in cold temperatures. The overall height to the 2-inch uh, ring adapter is uh, 69 mm, making the focuser a bit tall using up valuable light path millimeters. Ideally, you want a focuser that has a low profile but also offers a wide adjustment range. This focuser is completely made out of metal, which is also responsible for its decent weight of 710 grams. This gives it a solid and sturdy feel. And compared to the simple Crayford focuser of my old 8-inch dub from Skywatcher, this one feels a lot more premium. Responsible for the quality feel are also the ring clamps for tightening eyepieces, which are featured both on the 2-inch and the included 1.25-inch adapter. These allow for fast and secure tightening of the eyepiece without the risk of leaving indentations on the eyepiece housing. This being a problem with cheaper focusers where only tightening screws are used to secure eyepieces in place. 
Should you want to upgrade your existing focuser with this one, you need to keep in mind that in order to attach this focuser to your telescope, you will need an optical tube adapter as well. This adapter isn't supplied with this focuser and needs to be purchased separately. Coming in at 160 bucks, this 2-inch dual-speed Crayford focuser for Newtonian telescopes is a nice piece of equipment, making it a solid upgrade for the simpler ones telescopes usually come with. I really enjoy using it and the only thing I can think um, of that could be better is the height of the whole construction that, as mentioned before, is taking up valuable millimeters of light path. Depending on what it's used for, a focuser with a lower profile could be a better alternative here. So before you go ahead and buy yourself a focuser, think about whether you intend on using accessories that modify the length of the light path in a significant way. So these are my thoughts on this 2-inch Crayford Focuser from Omegon. And now I'm curious to see what your experiences are with focusers in general, maybe even with this one. Let me know in the comments below. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have questions or feedback, then please leave a comment and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next video.